so the solution to our problem lies in guess what in font awesome these are uh, icons so we can go to font awesome and search for a star so we go back just search for star on your font awesome once you get star we, the, we need two stars look at this one this one is complete and we need this one that is half star so let's get the full star first let's star half click on it and of course as usual scroll down click here then head back then go to your code right side right beside, beside the 4.5 written we're going to put four stars one but before we make them four let us determine what the color should be all right so we can do something like um uh text um do you remember uh let's go to bootstrap to see how to color a text yellow text angel content types text element um, that's not it we're looking for color okay search for color color so generally look at it generally if you know look at what we're looking for text warning the text warning is yellow if you know if you just get a general overview of what, what you're doing then the rest everything is easy so we'll duplicate this 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 all right so let's go and check if you just know um, the general idea of what you're looking for then coding with bootstrap is easy look at four stars let's check how many stars that are here here we have four stars then one is not full so we're looking for we we'll go to that icons we we'll look for this half star click on it and once it opens we're scrolling down to copy this so once we copy this it's easy it's easy as a b c e easy peasy so we have text warning five star half text warning space text warning that's it and we're good so we're good 4.5818 uh, so that's it now the, the last thing I think that we have here is um, this bottom line so this bottom remember that it's a little bigger than this one so we're going to create a p tag and inside it we're going to write um, I think it's $199 and then there is a what do we have there? Nine point nine nine dollars. Nine point nine nine dollars. So from what I'm saying, all right. So this one is a little small. It's smaller. Let's see if small works here. All right, so um, we'll have to refresh, reload. Okay, makes sense. The only thing is that it's dropping too low, so we have to fix that too. So the first thing you notice is that this is dropping too low. We need to move it to the right. So um, right here, if you look around, we need to remove the P tag, remove this P tag, so that everything is inside one P tag. Look at it. We made sure that everything inside this is in one p tag all right but also we need to make sure that this is in a new line normally in html you're supposed to do like br tag like this just put it in a new line let me show you reload uh, it kind of looks cool like this but there is a way to do it in bootstrap in bootstrap we can just create a dummy span or create a span yes then we'll create a class inside it that is called um, enter so the class is called display block so in bootstrap you just do d block 
So deep blot means it will spread across such that um, anything underneath this will be thrown under. Um, so we're going to do it. It will have the same effect, but it's more professional. And the next thing we have to do is to push this guy to right. So we simply um, float right. I in bootstrap. I think we should put this inside the B a class float right. Apart from float right, you can do offset. All right, so we can offset it if we want. Load. So it has come, but it did push it down a little. So I think instead of D, we could do span. Span will not push it down. Span. All right. And our problem is solved. So let's compare with what we have here. Cool. Makes sense. Or what do you think? Makes sense to me. So another thing we can do is to make one. We need to cancel this. Put a cancel on it. So um, this is basic CSS where you use text transform. Let's go and Google it. How to use text transform. Text transform in CSS. How to strike through in CSS. So it's text transform strike through, but I'm, I just want to Google it. So you see how to find something. Is it text decoration on the line, line through? That's it text decoration line through all right so that that's where we are so in CSS we're going to do a text decoration text so we'll do a class let me just bring this lower we'll do a class remember you can get my code from my github in case you prefer the code directly so text transform text let me just paste what I have there Oops. Text decoration. Every time I copy, it doesn't work. Uh, line. So, all right. So it will cancel this, and um, we still need to put in. I think uh, let's let's refresh and see first before we go further. Reload. Um, didn't work. Did it? Nope. So the reason it didn't work is because we are doing something stupid. We're writing uh, CSS inside class. This is the most stupid thing I've done today. So it should be inside a style. And then uh, we can test again. Keep your eye here and reload. See, it is now striking through. Now, the only thing we have to do is to make sure that the color is a little muted. So remember that we can do text muted. So let's make the color a little gray by doing text muted. We'll do um, class text dash muted. All right. So I will have to break some of this so you can see it easy. That's how it is. Text muted. So if you refresh, just to make it a little light gray. It's now light gray and this one is older. So that's just it, guys. There is, there is endless... You can do endless modifications on this, you understand? Endless. At the end of the day, it's just about um, getting this card right. Then now we have this card right, we can now spread it across into five places, all right? But this video is already too long. I'm going to stop here and continue in the next video. Thank you very much.